Hey, welcome back to the final part of my Plasticity Beginner tutorials. In this video, we're going to see how to replace the wings panels with flaps and spoilers. The process is pretty simple and actually repetitive because you know we got lots of panels going on there. So for this reason, I'll be showing you how to replace the first two. Then I'm going to make them all at warp speed. Towards the end of the video, I'll be showing you how to create some nice panels and random mechanical stuff inside the wing. Nothing really fancy, just to add some details on it. We will be seeing how to make rivets on the wing to create like a panel effect and add more visually appealing details. So no further ado, let's jump right into it. So let's have a look at how to create the first two flaps. I got a reference image on the internet, this one. This is what the shape of the flaps should look like. You can follow along the reference if you want to. For this video, I'm going to create them in place, replacing the existing panels. So let's take the first one, this one right here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select the edges, Shift D to, to get a curve, and then hit Patch Hole. You can also do that by selecting the face and hit Shift D and duplicate the face. Then press E to extrude it. And I recommend you copy the extrusion value and paste it into a text file. We want all the flaps to be the same in terms of extrusions and thickness, right? So next, before using the spline tool, make sure that the object snaps is active, this one right here, so that you'll be able to snap your curve on the face, just like that. So here I'm creating a little piece of curve here, but actually I should have lofted between them. So we're going to do this next. So let's do the same on the opposite side. So now you can delete the panel, select all the curves and hit J on the keyboard. And to avoid this problem here, you might want to go to vertex mode and select both points and hit L on the keyboard to loft them and then set them to G0. And finally join the curves by hitting J. So as you can see now we have the same issue. That's why I should have lofted between the points. So now you can select both curves and hit L to get the flap. Like that. So now I can delete the curves, select the edges and click on patch hole. There we go. Just give it a nice bevel here and here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this bevel value and paste it into my text file. So now I can put it in place and delete the underneath panel. I recommend you use the snap on the grid to do that job. So let's quickly see how to make the big one. Then we're going to skip the next part. If you paste the value inside the tool properties and the extrusion goes upward, you might want to add a minus sign right here.
All right, we got all the flaps where they are supposed to be. You might end up having way too much room in between them. In this case, use the match face tool or just select the face and grab them to minimize the space. So let's create some mechanical stuff now. Nothing really advanced, guys. It's just something that makes people say, wow, there's a whole lot of advanced stuff in there. But actually some, just some pipes and cylinders here and there. But if you build them cleverly, you will get a nice effect when, when you look at it from far. So what I want to do now, I'm going to select all the um, panels underneath my wing here, I mean the faces, and just pull them up a bit to create sort of, sort of a wall where I can place my pipes and make sure it doesn't creep through the wing. So now let's grab the simple line tool, shift A on the keyboard and just start off creating your pipe. What you want to make sure is that you snap the points on to the face. To do this, just zoom in a little and hover over the face until you see the tooltip saying face appearing on the screen. Just add some variations and curves to your pipe and you can create more than just one. There we go. Once you've done that, you can select all the points and hit B and D in sequence on the keyboard and bevel them out. Alright, so let's add some details on the wing, like panels and rivets. So to do that, I'm going to use my simple line tool, and I'm just going to draw a shape like this. Just try to be as precise as you possibly can here, if you don't want your panels to look wobbly. So you can select these two points and scale them across this in the x-axis and bevel all the points out. 
So the next step is, uh, let me pull it up. I'm going to hit uh, Shift I on the keyboard and I'm going to imprint the curve on my wing. At the top and at the bottom. There we go. So now we have a, an edge here. You can select it and hit Shift D to get a curve out of the edge. Next step, I'm going to create a cylinder and snap it right here on the wing. And just create like a sort of a rivet, guys. Just like that. Then select it, hold down control and grab the white circle uh, right on the curb here. So now hit the three dots icon and type curve array. So let's select the curve and just set it to something like 100, like this. Just do the same at the bottom. I'm just duplicating my rivet and just try to line it up with a curve. There we go. So now you can delete all the edges by executing the delete redundant topology. Okay. So now I'm going to do exactly the same on the other pieces of the wing. And so I think I'm going to speed up the video. All right, as you can see, I did the same on the other pieces of the wing. You can do that yourself, guys. And now let's go ahead and create sort of a panel here. What you need to do is just create a shape to your liking and then imprint the shape on the wing. What I'm going to do, I'm going to select the face and hit E on the keyboard and just extrude it a little bit. Just like that. Then bevel it. Then select this face and I'm going to do the same work I did uh, for the rivets pretty much. Select the face and hit O to offset the curve, the, the edge. Just like that, select the edge, shift D to create a curve and then duplicate one of those guys and hold down control on the white circle and snap it on the curve. So now if you want to move it along the local axis, you just need to select one face, then hit shift and spacebar. That'll create a new construction plane as you can see here. And so that allows you to move your object along its own axis, local axis. Then you use the curve array tool, select the curve and just do something like that. Then you can use a delete redundant topology to get rid of the edges that are no longer needed. So I'm going to do the same at the top here. So let's speed up the process just a little bit.
that's it for today's video guys and stay tuned and stay on the lookout for the next part. Bye.